ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഐ എം ആയുഷ് അഭിലാഷ് ഐ സ്റ്റഡി ഇൻ ആകാശ് ബൈജോസ് തേഡപ്പള്ളി ബ്രാഞ്ച് ആൻഡ് ഐ ജോയിൻ ആകാശ് ഫോർ ഫോർ ഇയർ ഇൻ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ടു ഇയേഴ്സ് ഫൗണ്ടേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ടു ഇയേഴ്സ് മെഡിക്കൽ കോച്ചിങ് ഫോർ നീറ്റ് യു ജി ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി ത്രീ ഫോർ മൈ ഏർലി ഏജ് ഐ സോ മൈ മദർ ട്രീറ്റിംഗ് പേഷ്യൻസ് കെയറിംഗ് ഫോർ പേഷ്യൻസ് ആൻഡ് മെനി പേഷ്യൻസ് യൂസ് ടു അപ്രോച്ച് അവർ താങ്കിങ് ഹർ ഫോർ വാട്ട് ഷീ ഡീൻ ദിസ് ആക്ച്വലി ഇൻസ്പയർഡ് മീ ടു ടേക് ദിസ് പാത്ത് ഐ ആക്ച്വലി ഓൾസോ വോണ്ട് ടു സർവ് ദി നേഷൻ ആൻഡ് സൊസൈറ്റി ഫോർ ദി ഫർ ദ ബെനിഫിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഹർ നേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ഐ ആക്ച്വലി സ്റ്റാർട്ട് മൈ ജോണി വിത്ത് ആകാശ് വിത്ത് ആൻഡ് ദേ ഐ നോ ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദേ ഇസ് ആൻ എക്സാം വിച്ച് ഇസ് റിട്ടൺ ബൈ ലാക്സ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് സോ ഐ ഗോട്ട് എ ഫീൽ ഓഫ് ദി കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഐ ഗോട്ട് എ വെരി ഗുഡ് റാങ്ക് ഇൻ ആൻഡ് ദേ ആൻഡ് ഐ ഗോട്ട് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് പെർസെൻറ്റ് സ്കോളർഷിപ്പ് ഇൻ ട്യൂഷൻ ഫീ ഐ ഓൾസോ was hearing about Agash producing very good results and the teachers were of extreme quality so I decided to join Agash actually uh, I know that uh, NTM mainly makes questions from NCRT so I focused uh, focused on NCRT very much and actually Agash packages like know your NCRT and NCRT match help me focus on NCRT it helped me cover each and every corner of the NCRT now I made a timetable uh, based on the timetable of Agash and did every test I attended every test and found out my mistakes and I corrected them I also did study packages and the questions each and every package that Akash gave I did so that I got a lot of exposure to different types of questions whether easy or difficult and that helped me crack the exam I used to keep a timetable I used to give separate slots for board exams and entrance exams we need to prioritize both entrance exams and board exams since we can't give one day full only for entrance exams and board exams and we can't also uh, study the day before the board exams we have to find some time for both of them NCERT is the main textbook which is used as uh, reference by the NTA while framing questions. So I used to read each and every line. I used to not miss any line or any box that was uh, given in the NCERT. Even the scientist name, the dates, everything we have to learn. The examples also we have to learn each and every example because they can't ask anything. But they won't go beyond NCERT. So that's a relief. So we can learn the example, jot them down in a notebook, in a separate notebook. we can give it this example notebook and study it we can also write down the important points that that we are likely to forget and the statements from which assertion and reasoning can be done so this is how we cover ncrt yeah so during the class 11th i was not serious i was enjoying after the class 10th vacation so i was not that serious and used to get low marks but then my teachers told me that you have to focus on 11 because that is the basic thing and you need to clear need with 11th also because it has equal weightage so they used to prone me every time and then i started studying every time sometimes uh, during the exams i used to get low marks which made me very dull because i was scared my mother would scold me but instead of scolding me she used to tell learn from your mistakes and get better marks the next time so i did like that then the next challenge that came me or came for me was ntsc stage 2 i thought i was uh, i was able to keep uh, i was capable of clearing it but i was not able to clear it and i was very dull at that moment so my teachers were very supportive at that time they told me that neat is the ultimate aim so you have to focus on neat you can't let go you have to let go of your past failures it can't uh, it should not block your way to the success in during the need preparation so teachers helped me in that way also they called me and they supported me very much and that's the motivation i got from my parents and teachers most of the students feel that uh, inorganic chemistry is really hard to memorize because there are lot of things which don't make sense and you have to just memorize them without any logic so what we will do is uh, you will do at least four to five tests based on inorganic inorganic chemistry and the first two tests or something will be very bad marks you will get but you don't have to get demotivated that's the main thing for inorganic chemistry because at the end everyone will remember it because you are doing four to five or at least 10 tests on the on these topics so you don't have to worry about the inorganic chemistry part you just have to read it every day or something like that a part of it not whole inorganic chemistry part by part you have to read it the same case with the examples in biology and the dates and the scientist names you just have to read it every day sometimes you will forget one or two of the examples but that's okay you will read them every day and every test you will attempt them so it's like you are revising it like a hundred times so you will not forget it the next challenge is the physics now physics all you can do is practice every day there is no other choice you have to practice every day you can't do simple formula memorization and just apply it most of the things are formula based but everyone will do it so you have to understand the topic instead of just memorizing the formulas and you have to practice every day that's my suggestion for physics thank you all the best for neat